Don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. But it's perfectly safe to breathe. Really. <laughs> so, how's the scaving been? Got the food and medicine from that super duper mart? Really? No medicine at all? None? Seriously? <sighs> well, I guess I should have expected that. It's been a long time after all. But you certainly did research a couple of risks of those big stores. Tell me about it. Oh, poor research assistant. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it'd be so dangerous in there. Well, don't worry. I'm sure the rest of the research will be safer. At least you can keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. It tastes kind of great after a while. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Ab Good hunting. Good to see you. And now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. What's up? My dad told me about how you're going to disarm the bomb. He gave me some stuff for you when you get it done. Sorry. Yes?
Yeah, you need something? Hello. Feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. So, you're experiencing delusions, too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Good hunting! <laughs> 